Welcome to Somalia, to MIA in Mogadishu, where we are hosting our second Committed to Good Summit, which focuses on the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Federal Government of Somalia's National Development Plan 9. So we're here to support the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, which were launched in 2015 by the United Nations as a continuation of the Millennium Goals. And they take those goals forward to 2030 and they address really all of the planet's big problems. So the Committed to Good Summit for me has two main objectives. One is to bring the discussion about the SDGs into Somalia, into the forefront of what we are doing here and some of the other private organizations and humanitarian organizations. Secondly, to create a dialogue between the private sector and the public sector about our role here in Somalia. I really think more summits and events around the Sustainable Development Goals need to be held in the countries that need them the most. This is a Somali event. Participation is maybe 80, 90% Somali. This is their event. Um, it's not about us. It's about our staff, it's about our projects, it's about our partners, and that for me is, is the most important thing. I think uh, one, as you've said, you know, uh, it's necessary to have this kind of dialogue, and I think CTG taking the lead uh, is quite important because it awakens all the stakeholders to the importance of being constantly reminded that this is a discussion that we need to have, but not just a discussion, but we need to implement uh, you know, some of the promises that are constantly made in a lot of these summits. And so I think it's a good opportunity to reflect, to stock take and to see what we've achieved and what else we need to achieve. I'm delighted to have been invited to this conference uh, on the private sector and achieving the uh, SDGs in Somalia. Achieving the SDGs is much more than just simply an effort on the part of government or international organizations or um, foreign donors. It's about stimulating people in Somalia and most importantly the private sector. Creating an environment for the private sector to flourish is the only way that Somalia will achieve the SDGs by 2030. I think the role of the private sector uh, without question is quite uh, critical. It's actually a key pillar for achieving the sustainable development goals. Uh, you know, as some of the speakers have said here before today, is you know, private sector holds the most capital and SDGs are going to cost money uh, you know, to implement. We need the private sector and we need the government to work together to achieve these objectives. I was very pleased to see that top ministers, uh, very important ambassadors from member states uh, uh, of the UN, family, many agencies uh, and the local people actually attended uh, this important discussion. The summit like this one that is uh, convened and organized by CTG is very critical given the fact that it brings key stakeholders on board from different areas and different fields. It is good for, the, for all of us to work together and come up with a common solution for the benefit and for the good of Somalia as a country. One of the things that I'm very passionate about and which CTG is very passionate about is gender equality. We had some fantastic trailblazing women at the event who really showed that Somali women can be leaders and are very, very successful leaders. As we know, education is very important, but for women, education is doubly important because they are the foundation of the society. And without having females being the forefront of society, the society will never move forward. And we believe that with the initiative and the support and collaborating together with CTG, I think going to uh, making women at the center stage of the private sector is the way forward to go. Conferences like this is very good because it is raising awareness first and foremost and also it's allowing females to have their voice heard. CTG itself uh, embodies much of the sense of purpose and commitment that much private sector needs to align itself to with the SDGs. Um, once again, this has been a very rewarding conference. On behalf of my government, we welcome and we thank the, this Committee Good initiative and we will support. And I see this is a first step, but I hope that will continue for the coming years. So I leave uh, optimistic, I leave uh, with great hope, and I look forward to coming back in a few years' time to see progress achieved.